2,000 years ago, the elite of ancient Rome wore pearls. Well, today, that traditional mark of the rich and powerful and maybe preppy, is becoming much more affordable thanks to China. Early show contributor Katrina Zish has some pearls of wisdom for us this morning. Yes, I do. About pearls. Good morning. Good morning. From a creature as ugly as the oyster comes a gem treasured for its beauty. Pearls began as a grain of sand or a piece of tissue inside a mollusk. And the end result is a piece of jewelry that is growing in popularity as its price continues to shrink. Audrey Hepburn loved them in Breakfast at Tiffany's, and so have countless rich and powerful women throughout history. Even though Marilyn Monroe claimed that the diamonds are a girl's best friend, she was known to wear a strand or two. Pearls have been the baubles of the privileged for hundreds of years, but the times, they are changing. Well, there's a whole new generation of people who are becoming interested in pearls. At Honora Pearls in New York City, CEO Joel Schechter sees industry trends firsthand. China has made it possible for every woman to, to buy different shapes, different colors, and different sizes of pearls to color. Traditionally, the most sought after pearls were cultured from saltwater oysters, and the most prized of those came from the coasts of Japan and Tahiti. Freshwater pearls were more plentiful, but the quality wasn't there. Over the last two decades, the pearl industry has been transformed. So the Chinese freshwater pearls really sound like a game changer. Totally revolutionized an entire industry. And now today, China produces 95% of the world's pearls. Whereas a Tahitian pearl sells on the wholesale market for $25 to $35, a comparably sized Chinese pearl costs $4 to $8. The secret lies in Chinese production. If you go into an Akoya oyster in Japan to grow one pearl, you need one oyster. We'll take one oyster and put 32 pieces of tissue that will grow 32 individual pearls all at the same time. Imagine if we could produce cars that quickly. <laughs> the Chinese have also cornered the market on pearls of different shapes and colors. This is beautiful, gem quality ovals. Wow. Okay. I didn't know they came in that shape. And China will produce pearls that are purple, lavender, peach, apricot, it's really fantastic. And even those with an experienced eye have trouble telling the Chinese pearls from their more expensive counterparts. We receive merchandise from the office daily and oftentimes we have to look at the tag to see what the price really is, so it's kind of hard to tell. As Chinese production continues to grow, pearls will become even more affordable, allowing a new generation of women to feel a little more cultured. That is an adorable <laughs> picture. So how do we know the difference then between uh, these pricier saltwater and the freshwater ones from China? Well, that's the amazing part, Erica. I have some an example here. We have one that is freshwater and one that is saltwater. Now, can you tell the difference? I'm guessing that the, the one on the lower right there is the saltwater one. That's actually the fresh water. Well, so, there we go. Exactly. It's nearly <laughs> impossible to tell. Sometimes you can tell by the color or the luster, but as technology increases, it is becoming harder and harder to tell. What, you really have to look at the price tag. What's the price difference then with those two? These are about an 85% price differential. This costs about 85% less than that one. Than that one. And That's the amazing. quality is no different. You're just getting a lot more for your money. What about, we saw a lot of those colored pearls, the really colorful yes. ones in your piece, um, and we're seeing more of those from China, sure. you said, but, but how do those stand up in terms of quality? They're still very high quality, like any gem or stone, quality varies, so you do have to do your homework, but they really are not considered any less quality. They're really just kind of the trendier way to go. These are not your grandmother's pearls. Fancy. All right, Katrina Zish, thanks.